Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be covering the uh, basic setup and design of the radar builders and I'll be covering all radar builders. So regardless of which one you're using, you can follow along with this tutorial. Now, each of the videos in this series is going to be about 10 minutes long and we'll be covering various topics. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be working with basic setup and design of the radars. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do here is that we're going to want to open up our radar builder. So to open up the radar builder, you go to tools, uh, Dimango, and if you're using the 3D radar builder, you click 3D radar builder. If you're using the 2D radar builder, you click 2D radar builder. We're using the pro radar builder, so I'll click pro radar builder. Now it gives us this uh, editor window here, and what we're going to do is just dock it down in this corner. And if you're using the 2D Radar Builder or the 3D Radar Builder, you only need to click the 2D button or the 3D button once to create your radar in your scene. Else, if you're using the Pro Radar Builder, you need to select the type of radar you want to create, then click Create. Uh, we want to create two radars, 2D and 3D, so we'll select both, and then we'll click Create. We also have an email address here. You can just copy this out and send us an email uh, you'll get a reply in about in a couple of minutes uh, usually and the link to these tutorials will be uh, found here so you just click this button it takes to the YouTube channel and uh, the tutorials all right so we're just gonna go ahead and click create and one thing you might notice is uh, an error message may appear um, that's associated with the transition from the create tab here to the uh, uh, designs area inside of the radars. Let's see if we got these messages. No. All right. So what you'll notice is that we created our uh, radar and we see a graphical representation for our radar here in the right side in our hierarchy. If you're using the standard uh, radar builders, then you'll see an icon. If you're using the source included version, you won't see any icons. And you'll also notice that we have two render cameras in our scene. Now we're going to go ahead and delete one of these render cameras. And now I'll tell you what the render camera is. The render camera is used to render your radar, your blips and everything else that the radar creates. The, re the render camera isn't supposed to be rendering anything else, but anything associated with the radar. Now, in order for the render camera to render the radar, we have to put the radars on a specific layer, then tell the render camera to only render things that are on that specific layer. So we're going to go ahead and select our 2D radar and our 3D radar. We're going to go to layers in the inspector, and then we're going to select this radar UI layer. Now, if you do not have the radar UI layer, you can go to add layer and then create a new layer and call it whatever you want. We're calling it radar UI and that's what we're going to go with. So select 2D radar and 3D radar. And then I'm going to go to layer and then select radar UI and then click yes to change children. Now we're going to go to the main camera and we're going to uh, turn off radar UI so that the main camera doesn't render the radar you anything on the radar UI layer. Now we're going to select the render camera and it's currently going to be set to nothing. And that's if you're using the standard radar builders, you'll get this user interface in the inspector. However, if you're using the source included version, what you'll see is just the default camera. Now in the standard version, in the render, uh, radar render camera script here. All you have to do is go to where you see layer mask and then select radar UI. Uh, for persons using the source included version, in the camera, all you do is go to uh, culling mask and select uh, radar UI, whatever your uh, layer is. All right. So I'm going to just take a closer look at the radars here and I'm going to grab this 3D radar and I'm going to I'm going to drag it over to the left just to separate them. 
and you'll notice that around our radars we have these gizmos now these gizmos are just graphical representations of the scale of our radar of course our 3d radar being uh, in world space we have to use a uh, a wire sphere gizmo to represent the spaces in the x y and z and i'll get into why the gizmos are going to be necessary a little bit later on now we're going to begin doing the basic design of the radars and then a setup and we're going to run the scene and show you uh, what happens so in each radar you have these default sprites in this 3d radar we have a default uh, 3d radar sprite and we have an example 2d radar sprite we just go ahead and select that sprite we just open up uh, here look into our assets for a sprite that we want to use for 2d radars we'll get these sprites we're going to select this one and use it for 3d radars we get a bunch of different sprites we're going to just find one that we want to use and we're going to go ahead and use it so i'm going to use this image here but i'm going to change the uh, opacity and the color i'm going to quickly duplicate this and I'm going to go ahead and select a different uh, sprite. Use this thin circle sprite. If I can select it, use that thin circle sprite. And I'm going to change the color to a blue. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to uh, move it up to the y axis, 0. Point zero one just so that it shows up it's not uh, mixed in with the uh, this sprite here I'm gonna quickly select the 2d radar go to the designs area and then turn off visualize so that we don't see the gizmos I'm going to do the same thing with the 3d radar go to the designs area and turn off visualize and there's our radars now for the uh, 2D radar here. Uh, so the basic design is basically done here. I'm going to just uh, do a quick setup for you. Now, any radar that's going to be in screen space requires a render camera. So we're going to select the 2D radar, go to the designs tab here, and under camera settings, we'll see rendering camera. And we need to simply drag in our render camera. now we could just go ahead and run the scene and what you'll notice is that absolutely nothing will happen and that's because we haven't told the radars to uh, track anything and render it so you'll only see the 2d radar in the lower left of the screen and the 3d radar in world space now in the next video I'm going to be covering basic tracking, but we do have about a minute and a half left in this tutorial. So I'm going to do a little bit more on designs here and then we'll go to the next video. So on our 2D radar, I'm going to go to the sprite here. I'm going to control D to duplicate that. And I'm going to give this uh, a compass, uh, compass sprite so we're going to turn this 2d radar into more than just a radar we're going to make it a compass so you can actually track east west north and south now by default all the sprites are 100 by 100 and that's how they should be however our compass sprite here is 200 by 200 pixels so we're going to divide it by 2 that's the scale so it's going to be 0 0.5 both on x y and z And there we go that's our compass design we could do the same thing with the uh, 3d radar and in the next video you'll see that we will have the uh, compass sprite on our 3d radar so thanks for watching and in the next video we'll be looking at basic tracking